Hello, good day all of you. Sorry for delaying to upload a new video. Today I am going to make a practical program of a screen printing machine to uh, discuss the functions of all the parameters or all the inputs and outputs. So further no delay, so let us get started. Uh, here is the machine uh, we can see from the <coughs> desktop that is this is our one of our old machines uh, we, whose controller is already damaged and now we want to replace the controllers with one of the PLCs that is this uh, Innovance PLC. So as I already have made the program and the machine is running so I will show you the program that is how I made the program and what are the steps I followed to run the machine uh, manually and automatic mode. So now we will go to the program menu. Here I already have opened the AutoShop uh, software which is uh, required to make Innovance PLC program. So now I will discuss each step so that you can understand very easily what I have written in the program and how, how the machine is running. Here uh, at first you have to uh, make some comments or you have to mention some input and output so that you can make the program very easily. So firstly you uh, need to go to symbol table. Here I have defined some parameters that is x0 this is the input and this input is, is a paddle switch. So here we see the machine there are some inputs and outputs and this paddle switch is one of the input if uh, any operator is if any operator press this uh, paddle switch the machine or the screen printing will print one time. Here uh, one cylinder will go up that is down cylinder will go up upper cylinder will go down and one left to right cylinder will move from left to right. So there are uh, total outputs three cylinder and there are some inputs including this uh, uh, pedal switch there is a sensor proximity sensor here is another sensor and uh, there is another sen sensor. So we have uh, mainly four inputs three sensors one pedal switch there will be one um, emergency switch and these are the outputs total 3 pneumatic cylinder. So here uh, we have defined x0 uh, equal to that is x0 defined by paddle switch x1 input is left sensor x2 input is right sensor x3 input is down sensor and x4 is emergency switch. So we have total 5 inputs and the outputs here y0 are the first one cylinder that is lower cylinder y1 is upper cylinder and y2 is horizontal cylinder or uh, that cylinder which will move from uh, this left to right. And we have given some other uh, memory register and memory switch uh, by a comment that is M25 which will be auto mode M26 is manual mode D140 is uh, 148 that is auto cycle delay we, when we run the machine uh, in auto form that is uh, that case we have to make a delay time so that the operator can put the pr um, uh, product here otherwise the machine will like uh, go left to right left to right and if no delay the machine will not run properly. So we have to make a delay time here for this left to right cylinder and then uh, we have um, uh, given another um, memory in uh, switch that is M30 auto start stop. So after uh, switching the auto button we have to press on the HMI to this M30. When I I show you the HMI program then you will understand what I have uh, given there. So now we will uh, go to the PLC program. Here uh, this function I will show you later. Firstly at first what should be the process to start a machine. So the emergency switch must be like off as the emergency switch is given by a NC normally closed. So here you take normally open. So here 
you can get the output here emerging switch then if the pedal switch is pressed by this x0 input one I have set that is if you press just one time one m10 or memory switch uh, memory output will be switch on and in this case the auto mode must be off because if I uh, press the auto mode then the pedal switch is not to work instead of pedal switch auto cycle will be running without pedal switch. So here emergency switch must be switch off that is NC so here is on pedal switch if I press the pedal switch and auto mode is off that is set M10. So one output uh, I will get at M10. When M10 is on here when M10 is on from here to there the lower cylinder should be on. So when I press pedal switch this cylinder will go up and then after a, a very small time difference the down cylinder upper cylinder will go down. So here after switching on this M10 here lower cylinder is on. When lower cylinder is on one timer will be on and we have given the time on the timer that is T1 by a data register value that is D140. We will put this D140 on the HMI. We will uh, be given the time here that is how much uh, delay I want after this lower cylinder on. So here after like 1 second or 2 second T1 is on. So firstly when I press this pedal switch set M10 is set when M10 is set lower cylinder is on. When the lower cylinder is on after a millisecond delay or 1 second 2 second delay timer 1 will be on. When the timer 1 will be on another uh, cylinder that is upper cylinder this cylinder should be on. So here I set y1 set. So when t1 is on y1 is on. Then when the y1 is on then this left to right cylinder should be moved from um, left to right. So here we need to um, start this cylinder also after a, um, a very small delay with uh, respect to this cylinder. So here I have given another timer after switching on this upper cylinder there will be another timer T2 this T2 uh, is give, um, defined by another data register that is data, data register 142 you will put the data register value from the HMI also I will show you this uh, D142 later. So here now T2 is on and another cylinder Y2 horizontal cylinder is on. So these uh, three cylinders is on and when all the cycles is uh, completed then these all cylinders should be reset or should be the original position. So I uh, firstly um, I said you that there is uh, there is a sensor here there is a sensor here and there is a sensor here. So when the cylinder move from this position to this position this uh, sensor will be on by touching a metallic point here to there. When this uh, proximity sensor is on all the cylinder should be reset or should be in uh, original or uh, previous position. So here I have given when the right sensor I have given the name of this sensor is right sensor. So when this right sensor is on and if the pedal switch uh, must be off if the pedal switch is on then this should not be like reset. So if the right sensor is on and pedal switch is off all these uh, set like um, output Y1, Y2 and M10 this M10 will be reset. So here I have given uh, when the right sensor is on then these three will be reset. Now we want to count the product that is how many products we have printed by this machine at a specific uh, time. So here you have to take a counter which should be retentive that is if the um, I have given one uh, continuous on M8000 
I already have said you this and when horizontal cylinder Y2 is on for one time that is this cylinder is on for one time once this is on there will be a pulse in this C200 why I have taken C200 so here you can check help help topic and you can write here counter I already have written counter here counter you see for common uses 16 bits C0 to C6 uh, 15 16 point incremental but this is not retentive here you see for retentive uses you can use C16 to C199 and uh, if your counter value is more than 16 bits then you should use for common use that is uh, 32 bits to C200 to C219 and for retentive use C220 to C234. So I have taken here C200 and the value 50,000. And we will uh, now we will move this counter value to a data register D150 and we will show on the HMI by this one D150 because we cannot take counter value on the HMI we have to take this data value data register value. So I have moved this C200 to D150 and anyone can reset the counter value that is uh, one uh, type of production or one type of uh, product already printing is done so we can get the counter in zero form or starting form so if anyone press this m20 from the hmi then this uh, move function will move zero to c200 that is counter now now we will go to the uh, auto mode what I have done to run this machine in auto mode when you select this auto mode now we will work these three lines the emergency switch is on the left sensor here this left sensor is on and auto mode if this auto mode is on from the HMI if anyone press this uh, auto start stop another switch from the HMI then one timer will be on with respect to this D146 uh, data register time if uh, it may be 1, 2, 3 or 4 second. So when T25 is on then I have lashed this T25 with this set M10. So I have written nothing more than these two lines to make this product. Uh, this machine uh, in auto mode. I have added one auto mode memory uh, memory switch and one uh, memory switch on and off and just one timer. When the timer is on here this auto mode is on last with this set M10. Now we will <coughs> check the HMI uh, program that is how I made the HMI program from this uh, letter diagram. Here you go screen printing HMI. <coughs> Here you see the first page is screen printing machine. I have written only the um, one text that is screen printing machine and product count P count. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is I have given you cannot change this type D. So you must take any value like counter timer to data register to show on this HMI and I have given here D150. Now you can check from the program here you see the counter value I have moved from C200 to D150. Now I can see from the HMI the counter value. Here you see when I run this machine product count 14 pieces. Posted there three light which actually all are outputs here first output is Y0 that is down cylinder then Y1 up cylinder upper cylinder and the last one Y2 is left to right cylinder. In the second page here you see up cylinder delay time one um, D130 here I have given D130 
you see here I have given the timer for up cylinder in data register 130 you put one value here it will be 10 times than a second so you have to divide by 10 to get the original time and you must tick this settable value so that you can set from the HMI of these three values here so I have taken D130 and you divided D130 by 10 to uh, another uh, data register that is D140 and you have taken this lower cylinder T1 to D140 so you will get the exact uh, time value from D140 same case here upper cylinder here D132 here D132 divided by 10 D142 and then T2 D142 for the second upper cylinder and the last one that is this this was the last one and this was the second one and first one when I press this paddle switch the first one will be on um, immediately. So this uh, this was the timer setting phase now input output mode these are normal input output you, you just need to um, make this uh, type and address so you will see uh, how the input and outputs uh, is working. Um, now here you see select mode auto start stop manual. So when you press here F4, I have given there F4, you can set any other function rather than F4 like F3, F2, F1, anything you can put. But you make sure that the type M and uh, the address is 25 because you have given here for auto mode, auto mode M25. So you must switch on this M25 to run the machine in auto mode and when the auto mode is run on this output will be on and after selecting this auto mode you uh, need to uh, press start or stop button because we have given another um, switch M30 in the auto start stop so when you press this M30 that time the timer will be on and the machine will running uh, in auto mode now you will uh, and another page is here counter reset when you uh, want to reset your uh, product counter just press F1 in another page because I have given here F1 and the um, input coil is M20 here you see M20 when I press M20 the move function will move K0 to C200 now we will go to the machine and see the how the machine is running so let's go there I hope you understood the program if you have any confusion or if you have any asking just let me know on the comment below and I will try to um, answer your, your all of your questions so uh, thank you so much see you very soon bye